Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really nice modern looking intro, just like the one you're about to see. So let's get into this. So for this uh, intro tutorial, I'm going to need a few things. The first one is the biggest one a program, a video editing piece of software. So I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Elements 10, but you can use most video editing softwares because most of them are the same and they have them little bar things on the bottom, the time bars. So I have also a logo, a font, which is Arista Light. This is a really nice font. Um, a modern gradient, which is just that right there and a vignette or vignette. I'm not sure how to pronounce it but you know what that is. It's just like the black edges. You can use that if you want. You don't have to though. You can find links to all of these things except the logo because that's mine in the description below. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to file, new and project and I'm going to just change the settings to uh, DS actually I'll do flip Flip Mino HD and Ultra HD 30p. Okay, okay, okay. And here we go. So uh, um, up here, I was pointing at the screen, but obviously you can't see that. So up here, right here, is where all your little parts are going to go. So I'm going to drag all of these in except the font. To install the font, just click on it. Click install. Press yes, and it will install. But I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to drag these in now just like that when they load and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the modern gradient so you can see it on the screen and I'm going to drag it to fit just like that and I always lift it up a bit so you can see more of the grey I can't really see the uh, gradient working on there for some reason oh well it'll probably look better in the finished product so the next thing I'm gonna put in is the logo and I'm gonna make this fairly small and put it nearer to the left and now I'm going to press the little T button right here this is text somewhere on your video editing software there should be a text button just click on it and you can add text so I'm going to type speedline text Technology. I'm not sure what I have in my intro, I think it might be Speedline Technology. And then I'm going to find the font which we installed, which was Arista Light. So, there we go. Arista Light. Um, there's also Arista... Yeah, this is just Arista and Arista Light. I have some nice modern fonts, other ones, but I forgot the name of them. I've got a load of fonts, so I'm just going to use Arista for this. So, then, you might want to change the colour of this. So, I like a kind of lightish darkish blue just like that and then you can drag it into position like so and then if we press done the text is in place like that and we can move it around if you double click on it and go back in because I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller I think I'll put it on 50 that might be a little too small I don't really know um, this isn't going to look exactly like the uh, intro which I just showed you because that's a different one. So now I've selected them both and no I don't think you can do that. What I usually do is while I'm resizing them and moving them around I put the white gradient out of the way so I can s select them both like this. The text always is like a giant layer though so it's kind of hard as you can see this whole thing is just the text layer so it's kind of it's quite hard to grip onto the world right there as well so I'm gonna move the world into position first over here a bit and then I'm gonna make this bigger so it fits just like that so there we go that looks quite nice now um, I'm gonna get some royalty free music I will show you that in a second Right, so right here I have opened two royalty free music websites, two of my favourite ones. So the first one is premiumbeat.com. Unfortunately this isn't exactly free, you have to pay for the music that is royalty free. It is royalty free. Royalty free means um, you can't get a copyright note for it. You might get asked for 
payment details not like payment details I mean like payment confirmation so they know you have bought the music but in Computech is another one but this one you can actually get the music for free totally free um, you can check out both these sites we use both of them for our music the this um, both of the links will be in the description below so right here when you go to the in Computech website I'm talking so fast I'm not I don't even know what I'm saying so right up here there's a royalty free music button if we click on that you have three options collections ISRC catalog and full search I think you have to pay for some of the collections I'm not sure but I always click on full search anyway and then you get a choice of like the music you want so if I set bouncy and bright we can have a look at some of these um, what's this so there's all sorts of ones like circus waltz as well I get a lot of questions asking what the intro music is. I'm not 100% sure. I have it downloaded somewhere, but I'll show you that another time. So let's choose one now. Um, I think I'll just use this one, the one I showed you a minute ago. So you just press the little download button and then wait and it should download. Hmm. If it doesn't download, I think you can right click on the play button and save it as. No. Anyways, downloading. So I'm going to put that in my goodies box and then I'm going to drag this into the video editor. Oops, I still have text open because the record button is set to a text button as well for some reason. So I have to delete all those. Um, so if we drag that in like that and put this underneath any audio, well it can go in any audio track, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to shorten this to about... I'm going to make my intro about three, let's say, um, I think that's the seconds right there, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to put it down to four and a half seconds. Well, that's five seconds. Five seconds will do. Um, so let's, oh, all of them are nearly in place anyway. I didn't realize they were five seconds long. So let's put them all to five seconds. There we go. And um, try this. Right, I want the music to start about there, so I'm gonna like split the track like that. Whoops, I split the wrong track. So if we split the audio track and then push that in, widen it out again. Also, I like to add a fade in effect if I've cut the track and a fade out effect. So just right click and then fade, then fade in and fade out. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's okay. I'm not a big fan of the music of this intro that we've made, but it will do. So now I like to add some transitions. So if we go into transitions, video transitions, and I'm going to put a dissolve one in on here. On each, all of them. And then I'm going to put a dip to black one on the end ones. So also, if you'd like to put the Viganet thing in, you can go up and there should be a few spare tracks. So I'll put this in and see what it looks like. And also remember to add the dissolve effect to this as well if you're using it or whatever transition you are using. So there we go. And that's what it looks like, so there we go. So that's about it for this tutorial. Everything looks good now. I'm going to play this intro right now so you can watch it. Thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you next time.